And today, Americans are asking all too familiar questions, like why does this seem to only consistently happen in America? And there are new questions, too, like if lawmakers can quickly collaborate to fight a pandemic or a baby food <laughs> shortage, why not to stop children being killed in school? Jason Colthorpe is here. Jason, you reached out to every Michigan lawmaker in Congress today. What did you hear? Well, Kim, the question was pretty simple. What, if anything, are you going to do to stop or at least reduce the number of school shootings in this country? I tried to leave that open to all sorts of solutions, but many answers came back to guns. After Sandy Hook, you would think, you would think that we would act. As we all know, lawmakers have not acted. School shootings continue and even legislation supported by both Republicans and Democrats to help prevent them goes nowhere and fades away with each tragedy. The lack of humanity of sitting there saying that this that we can't do anything. My God, I mean, we've normalized school shootings like this in our country, and it's devastating. And these poor parents and the people, again, sending their kids to school, and now they're not coming back home. Why? Because of a Jim Crow-type law called the filibuster. The increasing use of the filibuster essentially means legislation needs 60 votes to pass the Senate instead of a simple majority. On the Senate floor today, where a bipartisan bill on background checks sits, Senator Debbie Stabenow asked for enough Republicans to help pass something, anything. We just need 10. 10 people to stand up and go, this is too much. This has gone too far. We can do better than this. Because if not now, what is the number? I'd like to ask Leader McConnell, what is the number? How many children will he describe and sympathy will he show for dead children on the floor of the U.S. Senate before it's enough? How many? 100 more? 200 more? 1,000 more? When is it enough? We got to do what is necessary at this moment. This is a huge crisis. People should be able to grocery shop without being killed. They should be able to send their children to school so they can come home, they can tuck them in. And this all is happening because again, a small minority has this power under the filibuster. Enough is enough, we gotta move forward. Now, several lawmakers were unable to go on camera for an interview today, including both Republicans in our area, but Republican Lisa McLean did give us this statement, quote, Unfortunately, amidst this tragedy, many of my colleagues will say that it is time to take away law-abiding citizens' constitutional right to bear arms. However, we must remember that it was not a law-abiding citizen who caused the tragedy yesterday. The shooter shot his own grandmother and innocent children. He was a mentally disturbed individual who didn't care about following gun laws. The real issue here is mental health, not gun laws. Disappointed that I that you didn't I didn't hear from more lawmakers. I'm wondering the ones that you contacted, Jason. Did they all at least respond? Not the, everybody, what? actually. Um, uh, we were able to contact most people. Uh, Republican Peter Meyer and Democrat Alyssa Slotkin weren't able to give us a statement by the time we went to air. But I got no response from Haley Stevens, a Democrat, and Republicans Tim Wahlberg, Bill Heisinga, and Jack Bergman. We should point out Jack Bergman is. Up in Grayland, or Gaylord, I should yep, say. Yep, Very yep. much has his hands full up there, yeah, too. Sure, so yeah, sure. yeah. I should point that out, guys. All right, Jason. Thank you.